Okay, hello, uh, Martin here from Cyber51. Uh, today I'm going to show you an FTP server exploit. So it's basically um, exploiting an FTP service in order to gain access to a remote machine. I'm starting the process here with the nmap command. So nmap is a popular scanning tool which reveals what sort of services are open on the remote machine. And so I'm just running the mmap command against the victim machine, which is 172.16.138.138. And then momentarily I get the services which are open. So here, port 21, the FTP control port is open, so indicating there's an FTP server running. Uh, next step I ha um, have to do is I'm doing something called banner grabbing. So in other words, I'm having a look at the um, server version. So I'm simply doing a telnet to port 21 and I now see that it's a VS FTP daemon running there and the version number is uh, 2.3.4. So that's valid information because I need that in order to find the correct exploit for that target. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going into the Metasploit console and I'm simply doing a search here for the VSFTP and there we go, we have found one, we have found an exploit for that particular particular version of the VSFTP daemon. Uh, it's ranked excellent here, so that typically indicates that it's um, a high chance of success of breaking in, so let's use that exploit with the try. I'm simply copy pasting that out here and then I'm doing the show options command what other options I have to specify so basically I have to set the local host which is the attacker machine or in case my machine here in this case so which is that IP address and then I have to set the remote host which is the, the victim machine which is the 138.138 and all I have to do now is I launch the exploit against the target, see whether I can break in, execute that by hitting enter, and then we can observe the process. And we now have a shell. So a shell means we have now control over the remote system. We can verify that with the who am I command. So uh -huh, interesting, we are, we are root on the remote system. We can issue an ls command, list command on Unix. And we now have full control over the victim machine. Uh, to verify that, I'm simply doing a cat command, cat on the etc shadow file. Okay, so here we go. And those are the users and the hashed passwords in the etc shadow file. What I'm going to do now is I'm simply copy pasting those out. Okay, because I intend to crack those locally. And I'm going to the directory pen test passwords John, which stands for John the Ripper password cracking uh, tool. I simply create a little text file called crackme.txt and I insert those uh, values here. So I insert the etc shadow information into that text file. Just do a quick verification whether it's there. Yes, crackme.txt. And now I have on, all I have to do is I run the command John, John the Ripper against the crackme.txt. And here we go. And we already see that we have um, cracked uh, uh, various passwords um, for the respective users. So you can see that uh, a vulnerability in an FTP server or an FTP daemon running on, on a target machine can easily give the attacker the possibility to get uh, root access on the remote machine and then simply um, you know, copy paste the etc uh, um, shadow file and uh, crack those passwords. So I hope this was helpful and uh, looking forward to see you in one of the next videos.